Good morning, crazies. <clears throat> My voice a little fucked up. Sorry about that. <laughs> the camera, when it turned on, it makes like a dinging noise. And my cat looked at me like, what the fuck was that? She's doing good this morning. Say no medication, no nothing, dad. She slept with me all night last night. And she loves me. Dude, last night, man, I just, I'm, I was out of it, dude. After I smoked, I was just done. I was cooked. I still feel that way a little bit. My head still feels, I still feel a little heavy. I don't know. It's weird. I do know I need to fucking get rid of it. I know whatever the fuck it is, it needs to go away. It's fucking four in the morning. I'm up. Her, man. I love this kid. I love you. She's such a good kid. She's such a good kid. You can tell she's going to be like straight up attached to me. Her teeth are so small. Her little baby teeth. Yeah. You're so cute. Don't mind me. Little baby. Sleep good? Did you sleep good? She slept right here the whole night on my chest. She sleeps on this side mostly. The whole night she was on me. You hungry, baby girl? She hasn't eaten yet. I get up at this time because she gets up at this time. In fact, she, like in about a half an hour, she'll wake me up. She'll wake me up. She'll start. She'll start kissing me in the morning. Telling me she's hungry. What, baby? I need to give her a bath. She's going to hate me. Yeah, she's about to hate me. We're about to uh, give her a bath and get up. She needs it. She's got to get all that gook out of her nose and stuff. That's the only thing that gets all that shit out. I'm going to let her eat first. I'm going to wake up and then I'm going to get do it. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah, you hungry? You know? You can hear her respiratory problem. It's bad.
Oh, she just sneezed. You hungry? I know you're hungry. Come on. Let's go eat. Let's go eat, baby girl. Ah, time to get up. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's go eat. That's nasty. I'm glad I didn't step in that. That would have been bad. Get thrown out. Just a fucking Tupperware top that's been lost. Anyways, the bottom piece is fucked. Who knows where that bottom piece is? Even if it's in here, it can get thrown out anyways, which I know the bottom piece isn't in here. The shit got fucking... A lot of those bitches cracked. I use them for plastic bowls, the Tupperwares, a lot. Like this one, I eat cereal out of it all the time. For some reason, the plastic bowls fucking... Those Tupperware bowls, they all cracked on me. They did. Like all these things right here. These rubber made fucking take along things, they all crack on me. I don't, my head isn't raw or anything. I just, I feel raw, dude. I feel out of it. I'm not all there right now, man. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if it's what she has, what she's been fucking having or what, dude. But I've been feeling weird this past week, ever since fucking I got her. It's been an odd, just a weird feeling, man. My legs are always aching, fucking... I'm just, like... Slow. It's weird. Whatever she has is rough. I feel bad for her, man. Mentora! This shit's nasty, man. I don't know how they eat this stuff. She seems to like this fancy feast stuff, so. Whatever she eats, it, she eats it, you know? That's got a lot of gravy in it. That's, that's what they like. They like that gravy shit. I don't know, man. Ventura. <laughs> oh, she's in the bathroom. That's why she didn't respond. It's a good girl. It's a good kid. I was fucking calling her. I don't know why she's responding. She's in the bathroom. She's using the kitty litter. Smart kid. I'm happy that she's smart. She wasn't, uh, she wasn't listening at first. She wasn't, uh, using the kitty litter. I had a teacher. She didn't have no, no other cat to show her. Claw! Kitty, 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 Claw! He'd be out there a lot this time early in the morning. Between 4.30, 5, 5.30, he's usually up. I've caught him out here at 4.30 in the morning sitting here. It is 4, though. It's not 4.30. I don't see him. Thinking about hooking him up today with some medication. I didn't do that yesterday. I really fucking ran around all day yesterday. That's what I fucking did. Which, I need to turn on these lights. Let's see if Alexis works. I bet you if I turn them on, turn them off, that will work. Alexis, turn on the lights. Nothing. See, Alexis, turn on the couch light. 
I'll turn the sound on. That would help if I could hear it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to try different bulbs. It could be because they're off, though. Because I was frustrated with them last night. They weren't working. I bet you that's what it is. It's not that one. It's this one. I just installed these bitches. I'm getting used to them. I had them working for a minute with the old WoW, um, but they were still shit. So let's try. Alexis, turn off the lights. Alexis, turn off the lights. Alexis, turn off the lights. Okay. I know it does. Alexis, turn off all the lights. Okay. Alexis, turn on all the lights. Okay. Uh, turn them on and see it. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to write a script or something. I got to figure out, figure those out. It's fucking stupid. I kind of want to smoke, but I don't want to be slow either. That shit fucked me up. I only have a little bit. Which, I gotta get on my grind today, dude. I gotta make some money today. I'm... I gotta check the weather, all that today. It's been shitty the last two days. Which, I'm hoping this coffee's still warm. It's from last night. I don't have yeah. coffee, I mean. No, it's not warm. It's not cold. But it's not warm. Clear the throat. Yeah, see, there's. I got like a bowl. Yeah, smoke that. I twisted up that bud yesterday. And that one little bud left. I smoked half of it in this bowl. About to smoke the other half. We gotta figure stuff out today. You know, like, I have no choice. I want to get some boxes, man. That's what I really want to do. I want to get some boxes so I can box up the rest of this shit. I'm going to see about possibly uh, <clears throat> finding some work some soon. I got to, I got to, I gotta start pulling in money. Um, we gotta either we either gotta start buying something, we gotta buy something soon and start flipping stuff, or we gotta I gotta find some type of work. It's gotta be I gotta start looking today. I I have to. Um, it's getting that time. The weather hasn't really permitted much, and I wasn't. I should have stayed up last night, but this cat, you know, and you have food, by the way, kitty. I already made you food. She's staring at me like, where's my food? Come on. Let's go, Matori, dummy. Come on. Let's go. You have food over here, dork. Come on. There you go. I know you know where it's at. It's right here. She went to go start whining. She can't smell it. She doesn't realize I said no. See, now that I set it down, she's... She don't want it. That's what I got, girl. Oh, she's being... She's being picky, man. She don't like some of this stuff. It's weird. I would... Listen, bro, I'll... She don't eat it, she ain't gonna eat it, which... It's weird, she ate this stuff yesterday, but then she didn't want it the second time. Let's see if she'll eat the salmon.
she'll probably eat this. I can, this smells different, way different. It smells fishy. That's what she wanted. She wanted, she wanted fish this morning. She wanted pussy. This is, she didn't want chicken. She wanted, she wanted fish. That's what it was. She wanted salmon. She didn't want chicken. She said, I don't want no bird. I want a fish. I'm a cat. What the fuck? Claw eats birds. I eat fish. No, that's, she is eating it. It's hilarious hearing her eat because she can't breathe through her nose. Listen to it. It's funny. It sounds like a pig. That's why I'm going to give her a bath. When I give her a bath, even though she hates it, I let that hot water run over her head. And then it gets all in her nose, you know. She kind of chokes on it, you know. It gets in her airways or air passages, you know. She starts drinking it. She starts spitting it up. All that gook comes out of her nose, you know. It's all that crust that's inside of her nostrils. It comes out. You just watch it. You literally just watch it pour out. It's all stringy, you know, just like if you were sick. She hates it, but... After she, you know, she's miserable and I lay her down, she goes to sleep, she wakes up, she's like a whole new person, a whole new kitty. <laughs> she wants me to sit next to her while she eats, man. I'm telling you, man, this cat is attached to me. Come on, girl. Come on, eat, eat. Are you good now? Are you good? I promise. Man, the food's all caked in her nose. It's terrible, man. It's because she can't smell it. She's trying to smell it and know what she's eating. She probably don't even taste it really because she can't, you know, she can't fucking smell. Little baby. I don't want to give her any medication today, man. She's looking good, but I've watched this cat go from looking fine being fine and then two seconds later just straight up fucked up I know baby now it's time for me to smoke and eat I'm gonna smoke eat a bowl of cereal start some coffee and then I, I just give her a bath that's all I can really do right this moment it's still a little early I wish I had this fucking vehicle running. About to see about uh maybe uh, just putting that motor in. I'm gonna have to start doing research. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to simple. I'm gonna have to figure out if I can. If I can simplify a wire harness or something, I can jump some wires just to get a trans controller, and I I'm pretty sure I can get that fucking last running off just a couple wires. You don't need that many wires to run that motor. It's not the motor I'm worried about, it's the trans. 
you got to have a trans controller for that trans. And because uh, I don't have that stack ECU and I'm not pulling out the wire harness from the old truck, it makes things complicated. Um, that motor isn't the original motor to go in that truck. So the motor mounts, got there's a lot of things that got to be changed over. It got to be modified and bought, which I'm, I got to start getting the money together real soon. I was trying to sell this trans like 2200 clicks. Nobody's, I've had people come look at it. Nobody wants a bite, so. Everybody wants to rebuild a transmission for 800 bucks, so rebuild it. I mean, it makes sense you get a warranty with it, you know what I mean? It makes sense, that's why people are doing it. They'd rather get the warranty than get the, than get the lower mileage transmission. Which doesn't make any sense to me. I would buy the lower, I would buy the lower mileage transmission. That's that's just me. And what I'm selling that trans for is a steel. That's why I'm surprised that. It hasn't sold. <clears throat> like I said, I know where it is. Nobody thinks it has 40,000 miles on it. That's why I'm going to keep it, probably. Because it does have 40,000 miles on it. And I'm about to heat up this coffee. Because I don't like wasting stuff. And I'm going to eat a bowl of cereal. That's the only thing I feel like eating right now. I opened up the fruit loops as soon as I got home. I wanted something sweet. Let me see this. There wasn't that much left in there. Alright, change out this coffee filter. Get a new coffee filter. I hate when this happens. That fucking stupid ass thing. Tour. I don't, want, I don't know why I do that when I can just do this, right? Pull it out and just flip it. Boom, done. That's stupid. I'd be slow sometimes, do do. I still feel slow motion a little bit. I'm not, I'm not all there, dude. And it was weird as I was hopped up on caffeine too. Dude. It's like, what the fuck? I drank a Red Bull, I went flying to go right to sleep. It's fucking weird, man. Caffeine does that to me sometimes, too. It has the... Like, sometimes caffeine has the opposite effect to me. It's probably because I drink it so much. All I know is that I love part to be good in my thermos, still. Should be. I got it yesterday, so. It should be good today. Usually good for to the next day. You gotta keep the cap on it, that's the key. So no fermentation happens. So the, the pressure, the fermentation, the pressure keeps the fermentation, it slows it down. You have food, you just can't smell. I don't have any food for you, girl. So, I apologize that you guys get to watch me eat, but you know, it is called Life Stories Perspectives. And I gotta start getting in the groove. I start, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly kicking it in gear. <laughs> Yeah, remember too, we're, we're starting from the bottom. Um, I don't have tons of money. I'm gonna show you guys how to make money slowly. It takes a minute to start a business, man, it does. 
it takes a, a minute to save that initial 30 grand. You need about 30 grand, roughly. Forgot to say grace. I used to love reading the back of these things. I still do. <laughs> it's asking, it says, how many fruity flappers can you find in the poster? Fruity flappers. <laughs> Must be talking about fags. <laughs> I'm serious. They're talking about fags. How many fruity flappers can you find? I mean, they're even talking about fags on, um, on cereal. And it also has the most significant number in the world, too. Number nine. That's God's number. That's the control number. Which, I'm upset because... There was this guy I had bookmarked. He's at a university right now. He's been studying. He studies numbers. And I fucking lost the bookmark because my fucking laptop, that new laptop that I got, crashed. I'm trying to remember the name of the website. But he's been studying numbers and anomalies. They're basically like, there's, he's noticed patterns and stuff with famous people and like where they live and all these different things. And like, he's been recording it and you can go on the website on the university and you can look all this stuff up and I was going to show everyone, but fucking, I can't find the bookmark now. which I might be able to go to Firefox or Google Chrome because that's what I usually use and they might be saved through one of them but I got to figure out and see if I can go through my history. I have thousands and thousands of bookmarks so you have no idea. I've been actually thinking of writing a small script to help me go through all my bookmarks to, to sort them and stuff. I mean, I already did for the most part, but and it sucks because a lot of that stuff that I had that I lost was uh was stuff from overseas it was in different languages and stuff and i i had the translation the translator uh add-on for my web browser so i could translate everything because if i'm not if that person isn't here to teach me the language i gotta I got to translate it and see what it actually means first and see if I have any interest in it before I study it, right? If you want to learn, the number one thing to study is Wikipedia. And the reason why I say that because Wikipedia is an open, developed, 
community of factual stuff. So, if anything gets posted on Wikipedia, it gets fact checked by the community. So, if you got millions of people looking at one fact and they're all telling you that it's fact, most likely it's fact if there's a million people saying it other than a hundred thousand, right? You get what I'm saying? If I go on a forum and one person says this is factual, probably it could be, you know, but the odds of it being actually factual or not, they're really low. But when you when you have a community that big and they're all telling you the same fucking thing, I'd probably bank on it. And that's why I use Linux, because Linux is open source, which I explained in a, in a, in a video before, that it's developed by the whole world, a, a community of people that actually are passionate about it, they're not getting paid. Which Jesus clearly says, uh, a, a, a gatekeeper gets paid, a gatekeeper gets paid to watch the goat. He don't care, he, he cares about the bunny, not the goat. That's why he said, I am, I am the, I am the good shepherd. He said, I am the, I am the shepherd. A shepherd will chase after his sheep, you know what I mean? Because he's, he, he relies on those sheep. He lives off of them. That's his, that's his meal. That's his family. His family relies on it. And that's what he's saying. I am the good shepherd. You're going to be relying on me. And I will also take care of you. I will go out of my way for you. He said I will leave the 99 just to go for the 1. Which a lot of people don't understand what that means. There's really two meanings for it. The main reason what he's really saying, a lot of people don't understand, is that he will leave the the general mass because most people won't accept him. In that one lost sheep, that's that's that that's that black that's that black sheep. That's that one sheep that doesn't fit in. That's that one sheep that's completely broken. That person that's completely broken. He goes after that person because he knows that he can get, he knows that he can fill that person's heart. He knows he can live inside of that person's heart, which therefore that person isn't living. It's him that is living. It is God that is living. That's why he called, he says, you will be the children of light in the battle of Armageddon. Maybe the children and sons of light. And whoever doesn't pick Jesus, whoever doesn't pick Jesus is evil. And that's the truth. It is the truth. Because when anarchy does reign, right, they will only think for themselves they will be selfish. Why? Because their heart isn't open. They can't see they can't see what is coming. They can't see they can't see God's vision. God God they're not having visions. God you're not inspired by the spirit of love. Therefore, how can you have imaginations of love if, if you're not led by it? That's why I started doing these videos too is I talk like this a lot. It's how I talk. It's what I like to talk about. 
Nobody else wants to talk about this stuff. And trust me, I talk about cars, computers, everything. I'll blow your motherfucking, I'll blow you out the water. Medical stuff. I, I just know so much. And there's a lot that I don't know, which I'm going to be learning. We'll see weather stuff. I'm still hungry in bed. This is a small bowl of cereal though. I think I'm good though for now. See on the boat, these boxes, they got to go. It takes up more space, look. If I take the steering wheel off the bed and I roll it up, it's gonna take up less space. And then this ain't gonna end up in the ocean. That's what's gonna happen. I don't know what it is, but Fruit Loops do have between like so there's cereals that I like better that are name brand, and then there's cereals that I like that are better that are that are are not name brand. But when it comes to Fruit Loops, name brand Fruit Loops are definitely the bee's knees. There's some about the taste. Um, it's a taste that I've always known since I was a kid, you know? Um, there's other, you know, all those other knockoff ones, they're, they're, they're all right, you know, they're good, but they don't touch Fruit Loops. They don't. Now that I have food in me, I'm starting to wake up. And I can feel my, my head starting to clear up a little bit. I think it's going to be good today. We're going to be all right. We're about to find out. But once I start drinking some coffee, I'm hoping this is warm enough to have it. You know what? I'm just going to add some water and just put some... Man, I cannot wait to get south. I, I, you, you have no idea. I'm so tired of my body aching. Like, Whoa, that just scared the shit out of me. Usually don't scare the shit out of me with that. I usually don't pop like that either though. I bet you I poured it right into the hole. I'll tell you, I'll show you as I'm talking about. Pop that skin and shit out of me. So I started pouring the water in here and it fucking, I know you guys heard it, but it fucking splashed up. It made me jump back. I started pouring it over here. Usually I pour it like more towards the middle. I poured it right in the edge and it fucking exploded. I knew it was on, but I've done that many times before. Alright. Let's see, we have that much left. It's bad. Which I know that's another thing too, is I run the water through this twice. I bet you any money I could probably run it three times. I think I'm gonna try it. It's just it gets moldy, you know what I mean? And by the time I run it three times, it'll be moldy. That's why I don't run it three times. So I probably won't. I'm close the top and start working. Which I recycle pretty much everything. I literally, everything I have is plastic. Like almost everything we get is plastic, it's sad. I can almost guarantee 
we have problems because of all these plastics. I guarantee there's byproducts coming off of these plastics, some of these plastics when we cook with them in the microwave, when we're eating from them, that aren't healthy for us. I can almost guarantee it. There's food down there, sweetheart. Let's see, she went right to it. It's because she can't smell, man. I love this cat. It's because of her mom, man. Her hoochie mama. That one cat that I've shown you guys. It's... For all those that have been following, the uh, Hoochie Mama, she's really matted up. I feel bad. I've been trying, I've mentioned I've been trying to get a hold of her, but she won't let me get close to her at all. At all. But her, her temper, her, her personality is amazing. It's like, she's really tempered, you know? Like, you can tell she's not mean at all. At all. You tell she's an amazing cat. And it's funny that old man calls her Freddy. <laughs> Cracks me up. And I already have to fucking piss again. Like, what the fuck? Alright. We need to get to work. Computer work. I'm ready. I'm actually up and I feel fine, so... I need to stretch a little bit. My back right here is a little sore. It's always sore though, because I'm always fucking doing yoga. And it's still, it's still not fully, you know, stretched all the way. It shit hurts, man. It burns. Like, it burns right now. But, it, I don't have back pain. It's a different kind of pain. It's a sore pain because it's a pain that I'm just sore. You get what I'm saying? I'm, that's all it is. But, which, I was about to say, I think I have a roach left. I do. That's all I have left is a roach. That's good. That means I get some stuff done. Okay, turn this sucker on. We're at 42 minutes. Damn. This always reminds me of a cross. MX Linux buried in the ground. That's what it reminds me of. I've always wondered what it, what like what the uh, because it's all spacey. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Is a cross. I really do, and I like the name of the operating system too. It's called Wildflower. I thought that was neat. I know I've always liked this fucking. I've always liked MX Linux, man, and I just started using it. I've always wanted, like, I've used it before, um, and I've always liked it, but I've never really got, like, into it, and now that I have, I'm thankful for it, because it's, it's the only thing I can get running on this laptop, man, it's so new. It says I have some updates, uh, it says about, we'll go, like, actually check this thing out, I think I've done this already, but, you know, there's more people, um, Plus, I wasn't really doing computer stuff before. I, I was just randomly talking. So it is uh, MX version uh, 21.3. It says the desktop, it's running XFCE 4.18.1. Um, Debian version 11.7. And then it says um, this operating system is supported until uh, June of 2026. So as the name MX Linux is covered by Linux Foundation sublicense number 201-406-05-0483. We develop software that is covered by a free license that can be examined in the wiki list. We also include software developed by others that is under a free license. And then you can look at the terms of use, which is, you know, law stuff, lawful stuff, you know. Basically, they, they can develop this operating system and not be sued. You know, there's no, anyone can distribute it in a sense, but it does have some, it says, 
Prohibited uses. You agree that you will use this website in accordance with applicable laws, rules, regulations, and these terms at all times. The following is a non excessive exhaustive list of prohibited uses of this website. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Jerry Bond. 3904 Willowdale Lane, Geneva, New York. They're from New York. Huh. That's awesome. I've actually met a lot of people from New York over the years in chat rooms and stuff. There's actually a few chat rooms I kind of miss going into over the years. Um, but the people that I used to talk to, they're not in there. They like I've logged into them not that long ago to see and there there's a few people that are in there that um are still in there i'm like what the fuck this is still going on but um claw must be up i just heard something claw claw All I know is a cat just got fucked up. Told you. Come on, Claw. I knew he was here. Come on. Come on, Claw. The fuck you doing, man? I know you just fucked up a cat. I know you. Come here. Mentor, get in the house. Come here, Claw. She's running out here fucking like, what is going on? Claw's gonna fuck her up. You hungry, Claw? I fucking knew it, man. Alright, he just fucked the cat up bad. Whatever. Whatever cat that is, I feel bad. It's wet out there. Where's my fucking slippers? Here they are. I love these slippers. My grandma got me these things. She got me two pair of them. I fucking lost one of the slippers. I don't know how the fuck I did that. But I did. That's what we're gonna do. Claw. chicken. I hope you eat the chicken. Good. You guys got to give me a minute. Keeps on looking at something like a bird or something. She, she's finally starting to actually listen. You stay in the house, Mentora. I don't want to be shining the light out there and shit. I don't feel like turning on the porch light. I hate lights. When it's dark like this, I don't. I like to be able to see out there when you turn on the light, it blinds me. But he's eating me. I'm sure you kind of see him a little bit. Maybe. No. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Or 
content on. Uh, whatever he looked at, whatever he did, he just fucked, he just fucked another cat up bad. It wasn't him. It wasn't him that meowed. I'm, I'm pretty sure you got it good. I, I know you guys heard that. I'm happy to give him food now before he kills a bird. I've seen this cat, man. Tear shit up. This tore me up. I want to take him with me because I know... I know people aren't feeding him like this. You know what I mean? People aren't... You know what I mean? Look, he's in my backyard. You know what I mean? He's He's been coming around a lot more. Animals sense me, man. They sense it. They sense that I love, you know? Let's see what's popping off this morning. Kind of cute, actually. I ain't gonna lie. Is this thing even recording still? It is. Claw. I'm telling you, man. He's. I'm pretty sure that was a cat. That I don't know. It could have been another animal, but I'm pretty sure it was a cat. If it was him that meowed, that was really loud. It, he, he must have got hurt or something. It didn't sound like him, though. I'm going to replay it after I upload this. I can play it before I upload it, but... He's on a mission right now, whatever he's doing. Come here, you're not gonna say bye? Come here, you fucker. Claw. Come here. He's gonna run under the truck, like always. Come here, Bubba. I know. Are you hurting? Yeah, uh, you in pain? You all right? Uh, there he goes, he's gonna go across the street. I don't know what he's up to, but he's up to something. I'm excited. I'm excited to get go chase these storms, man. It feels nice out. It's fucking beautiful. Beautiful morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Shut off my light. So he's gone. I don't need this light on. Shut off my bedroom light. I left the heater on last night and uh, cause it was kind of cool last night, and I slept good as fuck. I slept like a champ. Probably why I feel so good now. I'm telling you, I was dreaming everything. Good dreams, it was, it was nice. I haven't had good dreams in a while. Oh yeah, this thing's super full, I'm excited. Yeah, look at that. I had some old coffee from yesterday, but that's fine with me. Nothing wrong with that. Wow. You had it, listen, girl, you had attention all night. I spent the whole night with you. Guess what, girl? I gotta do stuff. 
We gotta make money. You are about to have your little fucking fort. I'm gonna build her a fucking cool ass plaything in the boat for her. She's gonna have fucking scratch posts, all that shit. Which I still kind of thinking about getting in on the cat. I really... If Ryan doesn't get a house for Claw and I can train him, he's gonna come. I know it. I just... I know it's gonna be bad if I don't get enough time with him. It all depends on how long I stay here, really. What? I'm trying to get out of here fast. I want to get boxes this week, which I was planning on getting it this week at Paris, but that never happened. Gotta have money, and I'm, I'm, I'm relying on the Lord for everything, um, and I'm working for it, you know. But I'm not, I'm not working a ninety-five. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not out there grinding. Um, as far as uh, doing stupid shit, you know, I'm not out there fucking hustling like that. Um, I'm doing everything legitly, so it takes just a little bit longer to set up. And my main problem right now is the vehicle. That's my whole issue. I'm not in the area to be doing the stuff that I know how to do the t the type of stuff that I know how to do and, and get people to put up a lot of money or in nice neighborhoods. So we might have to go for a walk. I might end up walking down Telegraph past 8 Mile, past Southfield. Like Southfield areas, when it starts getting nice, I can start hitting like the upper class, sir, you know, more upper class type beat, you know, neighborhoods. Um, once I get past Southfield, I hit, like, Franklin, Bloomfield Hills. That's where I'm going to be going, most likely, to do these type of things, um, these things I know how to do in business. So, we'll see. It might happen this week. Um, I'm really half tempted to see if I can just find me a beater real quick. If I can find me a $500 car, find me a car that has problems that I can fix. Um, it's probably what I'm gonna do too as well for myself until that truck gets running. Cause it's gonna cost me quite a bit of money to get that truck running, to do it right. Just the, just the manifold and the uh, fuel injection system, I seen one on Facebook use, which that's what I'm gonna end up getting for 800 bucks and that was some miles away, which would mean I'd have to either have Bill uh, or ask Bill to take me and give him gas money or, you know, my one of my neighbors or I'd have to figure something else out, right? Um, so it's it's complicated. It's not that easy as people make, make it sound. And that's why people get, they get discouraged, they get frustrated. So um, this is why I'm doing this so people can see how to do it. how to go about it, which we're going to ask God to help us. Because I need it. I need the help. I need the help bad. Which I told him last night, like, you know, I'm always in a hurry, though. I'm in a rush. And he always, you know what he told me last night? He told me, you're on my time. It'll come. That's what he told me. It'll come when it comes. So, we stay focused, right? Because he said it's going to come when it comes. So, I got to keep my mind on that. Um, we're going to go ahead and log in. Um, I probably got like maybe 20 more minutes. That shit. It's 59 minutes, it says. So, uh, we're going to put... My username, Retrospect, if I can type it right, there we go again with the typing. I love this keyboard, but the, uh, sometimes I'm not used to it yet, and I have to look to see where certain keys are, 
um, which I know where they are. Like, you know, I know where they are for the most part because I type so much, but like this keyboard's off to the side. It's not right in front of me. So I'm kind of, it's, it's, it's different when it's off to the side because I have so much going on. I'm getting used to it. Oh my god, I'm getting irritated. Bet you any money I was hitting the monkey. Nah, I'm having I'm having a morning. Do I have caps lock on or something? This is weird. <laughs> it won't let me log in. I, I swear I did not forget my password. I use the same password like all the time for this type of stuff. There's no need to change it. There's ain't nobody hacking into my stuff. There's nothing to hack into. Not yet. Here yet. Alright, I don't know what's going on this morning. It just logged in. We're in. And it was the same password that I've been typing in. I don't know, maybe I'm not touching the key right. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't smoked enough weed this morning. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I gotta smoke more weed. We are about to get flying today. Which I gotta make money today too. I wanna try to get some boxes today. Um I gotta do some research today about this motor, about this trans control. I have a feeling this uh truck is gonna I'm gonna be keeping this trans. So I'm disconnecting that uh Wi Fi pineapple just for a second. I don't want any problems. Um but this is your Wi-Fi connection. Let's make sure it's on the internet. That Wi-Fi pineapple, I, I can use it as a wireless card. Um, it's I can do a lot of amazing things with that Wi-Fi pineapple, which I wanted to show you guys. Look, this is dude. I've had this since I was thirteen. It was my birthday present. My thirteen. Uh, my brother, my oldest brother, and his wife, which I love. I love them. They just. They're stubborn, but uh, they bought me this on my 13th birthday along with a glow-in-the-dark uh, pipe, uh, metal pipe, when I was, fuck, when I first moved here, I just moved here, in this neighborhood, actually, um, but if you put the light on it, right, and you hold it there for a minute, look, it glows after, it's fucking sweet. I fucking glued it to the Wi-Fi pineapple. This is the only thing that I have other than I've had this since I was 13. And I've had this since I was 14, 15, when I got my first apartment. Those are the two things that I've had the longest. Everything else out of all these years I've lost or have been taken from me other than this couch. This couch is the third thing, the leather couch. <laughs> For some reason, this leather couch, I've always been able to keep the leather couch. I've never gotten rid of it. I've always kept it. I've always, even though I tried to sell it recently um, to leave here because I didn't want to drag it down to Florida, but it looks like we're dragging our couch to Florida. 
Looks like I'm going to be getting an apartment down there or something. I want to get a barn. That's what I'm going to be looking for, really, a barn in Alabama. That's the plan. Right on the border of Florida and Alabama, but I want to be on the Alabama side. Right on the golf, like right there, smack dab at the golf. Like, that's where I'm going to be. All right. So we got to open up this web browser. We got to open up a terminal, which I clicked that too fast because it's an older computer. Even though it has 16 gigs of RAM. Oh, that opened up quick. Well, that's just because it's a terminal. Actually, what we'll do, we'll do this. We're going to close web browser, open up a second desktop, then open up Firefox. All right. What do we want to do? Um, I do know there's no weather stuff on this. I think there's a plugin. There might be a plugin already for this. So go to panel, add new items. Let's see if there's something for... Uh, there's a CPU graph would have that generic monitor keyboard. I'm looking for a weather plugin. Waveland, whisker menu, workspace switcher. Um, nothing. So we'll go ahead. I don't know any names of them, so we got to open up Synaptic, or we can just do this. We can go uh, Linux. I don't know why. For some reason, when I use Kali Linux desktop, when I click on here, it doesn't want to do a search for me. It irritates me. All right, let's see. We're just going to open up Synaptic. Fuck it. It just makes it. It's like doing, it's like almost double hustling. I got to search on the internet and then search when I can just go to Synaptic, right? And just be done with it. Because if I go to Synaptic anyways, it's going to tell me exactly what it is and all that. I don't know why it wouldn't let me log in this morning. It's weird. All right, so. See, this one has the weather app. It's called Weather Report. But it's also a different operating system, so it's going to have a different most like it's Well, this has XFCE, and so is this. So it might actually be the same weather app because XFCE is the window manager, so... But we're going to go through it. Ah, uh, what? They give weather in your terminal? And see weather is a cell script for displaying the current weather conditions in your, term in your terminal with support for ANSI colors and Unicode symbols. No way. Uh, use this open weather map, which is what I like to use for the most part. We're going to install it. I want to, uh, I want to be old school though, man. So, sudo at dash get install if you can type right and what is it called again ANSI weather ANSI weather alright ANSI weather put in my password huh Oh, it would help if I close it. Duh, I always do this. Even though we gotta open it back up. But I like, I don't know, I just like doing, I like being old school, man. That's how I like to install stuff. I try to, it keeps me sharp too, you know? It keeps me, you forget the stuff if you don't do it, you know? Everybody uses the click of the mouse, you know? It's easy to use the mouse. There's no, there's no thinking involved, you know what I mean? It's just click, 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 click. And I've, I know how to do all that stuff, you know what I mean? So, I like doing it this way. It makes me feel like I'm somebody. Alright, so we can't just type in ANSI weather. Um, we gotta go to the actual... Uh, folder um 
that's you're supposed to go to the actual folder which we're gonna go on uh, that cd bin i'm retarded i was thinking of bin i gotta go cd forward slash it tells you I'm, I'm still waking up and then here we go with this shit all right so we're gonna go cd forward slash all right and then we can just uh do uh we can really just tip an ls but you can go cd bin i was about to say you don't have to do it ls but i'm just doing this so people LS is for list, you know, CD, and then we're going to go CD bin, because we want to get in the bin folder, and then we're going to list that stuff. You know, we could have, if we know the path, you can just type in, you know, we could have just did this, right? I was about to say, you don't have to do that. You don't have to go, go through all those. Like, you can go... So we can go CD, right, space, slash, and then it's going to be uh, Ben, and then ANSI weather. If I did this, right? Yeah, oh. I'm retarded. We'll just do this. <laughs> it doesn't help when I'm typing with one hand. And yeah. give you a little line you can barely see it though wow it says in blue i don't know if you guys can see that it says weather so it gave me weather and looks like a, a polish place r-e-z-e-s-z-o-w touch out touch yeah that's definitely a touch out that's how you would say that, Cha Cha. I'm assuming. Weather and I'm assuming that's how you would say it. Um, 18 degrees Celsius. It says UVI 7.5 wind 7. Wind is 6.17. Going west. Humidity is 89%. Pressure 98 7 HPA. <clears throat> That's pretty, that's pretty, actually, I like this because once I set it up, right, I can specify where to pull the weather from, you know, basically tell it, you know, where I'm at, um, and it'll give me the correct stuff, and I'm, you know, I got to get used to using Celsius anyways, <clears throat> um, because that's what everybody uses around the world mostly, um, but the reason why I like this, though, is it's simple, all I have to do is type in ANZ weather, it gives it to me, and it uses less data, right? If I open this, think about this, right? If I'm on the boat, right, and I'm using a satellite connection that is, you know, they're charging me a certain, I can only use so much data because it's, you know, it's a satellite, you know, it's different. It's not like here where we have towers, you know, where the throughput, you know, you got to remember, I might be, in the middle of the ocean, for example, right? Um, and I still have internet. That's amazing. Um, but they're going to charge you up the ass. So, you know, you're, you're used, you, you get charged by your bandwidth in a sense. I'm sure they have ones that are, they have unlimited, you know what I mean? Which we're going to be looking at all this stuff. But, you know, I got to be able to get what I can afford it too. But we're, we're talking at a, at a teaching standpoint, right? At a, uh, at a theoretical standpoint, you know, we're not, we're not talking. That's why I don't, I get frustrated. With people like you could do the, those people are retarded. We're talking literally at like, try to imagine if we were stuck in the nineties, right? All this stuff back in the day, like in the eighties, seventies, right? You would have to have 
to do this because you wouldn't want to get charged anyways, not only for the data, you didn't have, they didn't have all these graphical user interfaces. This is what it was, was a shell, just this, you know, um, you know, it's my mom used this for a minute, you know, at the bank, you know what I mean? She got used to using, you know, s stuff like this, you know, but, uh, yeah, I like Anzi weather. Let's see. I like that, but I'm going to go, definitely, we're going to find a different weather app. <clears throat> we need a little, something just a little bit more uh, advanced. Looks like there's a few of them, actually. So we'll go like this. It says Alfred Almighty Lightweight Fact Remote Exchange JBN. No, that's definitely not a weather. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, that's, I don't have the GNOME desktop though, so we won't install that. I'm looking for one for the XFCE desktop. We can install the GNOME one, but. Let's see, Nate Weather. Do, 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 do. Nate is another desktop panel um, window manager. That's what Linux Mint uses, usually, like mostly. But we're using Kali Linux, so. So software for wireless weather stations. I'm interested just because what it says. It says this package contains a collection of Python modules to read, store, and process data from popular USB wireless weather stations, uh, stations such as uh, Alexa, Astro Touch, 6975, the Watson W8681. We might end up looking at some of this stuff. Uh, any model that is supplied with the Easy Weather Window software might be compatible. Nice. It says the software has been developed to run in a low power, low memory environment, such as a Raspberry Pi. It can be used to create graphs and web pages showing recent weather readings, typically updated every hour. It can also send live data to services such as Weather Underground and post and post messages to Twitter. Huh. That's neat. We might end up using that a lot. It sounds like it. <laughs> 